Christmas is coming, we have to learn a Christmas carol. Christmas is coming, we have to learn a Christmas song. Let me show you how we do it. So let's just learn this song, we are in the key of G major and we're going to start with the first chord which is indeed a G major chord. So we're going to strum the G major chord with three strings, the D, the G and the B string fret number three. So the melody is on the second string fret three, the note D. And then we have the first string open and the second string fret number three, and then we strum uh, three open strings, the D, the G, and the B string. Very simple. And I like to strum the strings lightly, uh, you know, you don't want to do like a quick strum. It's actually quite rhythmic and slow. And we're going to repeat the same section. Second chord. D major and D7. So the melody goes like this. Very simple. We are playing the D string open, the second string, the fret number three, and the first string, the fret number five. We pluck the strings simultaneously. We can't really strum this since we are not playing the G string. So you pluck the strings, then the melody on the fret five again, and then we strum the D7 lightly since the melody is played with this F sharp. Um, so we have 0, 2, 1 and 2. We lightly strum the strings. And we're going to go back to the G major chord. With this lovely phrase. So we strum 4 strings, 4, 3 and 2 open and then the first string, the fret number 3, always with the thumb. Then the melody on the first string and the G major again. But this time we're going to play the fourth, third and second string open. And then this phrase, which is going to connect this chord to the next one. So we have the fret number two on the third string and the fret number one on the second string. And then we move the same position all the way up to the fret number four and three. So we have. So this is what we learned so far. Now we're going to open up with the C major chord and this is probably my favorite section, I love it so much. It sounds like this. So we're playing a C major chord, but without the root note on the bass. So we're playing the note E on fret two, G, C on fret one, and E. So we're strumming this chord, which is based on four strings. And remember that the melody is always the highest note of each one of these chords. So in this case, it's the E string open. We're going to strum this chord. And then we have the first string open. And then the melody, which is played on the string one, fret number three, two, and zero. But we want to make it pretty. So we're going to add a third 
um, on the second string, in this case fret number five, and then we have fret number three, and then we have fret number one and zero. So I'm basically playing the melody with an additional note. So it's on the second string and first string, we have fret five and three, three and two, and one and zero. And we go back to the G major, super simple, which is the same as the first chord of this song. So it's just G major chord, we strum all the way up to the second string, first string, second string, and then we strum the D, the G, and the B string open. We're gonna repeat the exact same thing starting from the C. Now we're gonna move towards the most dramatic section of this melody. It's beautiful though, it sounds like this. So we're gonna open up with this D major chord. It's actually a D5 since we're only playing the D, the D, and the A. So it's zero, three, and five. We pluck the strings simultaneously. Then the first string again on fret five. And then we have the melody, which is played on the first string, fret number eight, five, and two. Of course you can go ahead and just play the melody with a single note. But we're gonna harmonize this melody with diminished chords, um, which are all symmetrical chords that we can move a minor third up and down. So in this case, we have the melody on the fret number eight on the first string. We also have to play starting from the fourth string, fret number seven, fret number eight, fret number seven, and fret number eight, which is indeed the melody. And I strum this chord with the thumb, then I'm gonna move the same shape down to the fret number four, so with the index finger on fret four, and then with the index finger on the fret number one. So. And we finish with the E minor chord, which we're gonna play with just four strings. It's a beautiful chord. We have the fret number two on the D string, zero, zero, and fret number three on the first string. And remember guys that the melody is always the highest note of these chords. So in this case, the G, is the melody. Now we're gonna strum the chord lightly and then we're gonna arpeggiate the second and the third string like this. We finish with this beautiful chord which is played on the third string, the fret number six, the second string fret number five and the first string fret number seven. So C sharp, E, and B, which is a beautiful A add nine chord. So. But we're not gonna play the A string open. You can if you want, the fifth string, along with the chord. The last section. So we're strumming a G major chord, zero, 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 and three. Second string fret three second string open, a D5, so we're only playing zero, two, and three with a light strum, the second string fret number one, and the third string fret number two, and we finish with the G major chord, which we are going to arpeggiate like this, zero, zero, three, and we strum the G major with zero, 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 and four. Sorry, zero, 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 and three. So. Of course, we can end the melody here, but if you want, you can repeat the last section. So once you play the, the G major chord, you can play two more notes, the fret two, the fret three, and we'll go back to the D5. 
then the diminished chord, the E minor chord, and the A add 9 chord, and then G major, D5, and the G major chord. This is indeed one of the most simple arrangements that I've ever created. So hopefully you're going to be okay, guys. Christmas is in 10 days. I tried my best to create the most simple arrangement. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Remember that the tab is available on my Patreon page. So check it out if you need it. To be honest, it's such a simple melody. So enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you soon. I'll definitely see you before Christmas again. But start learning this lovely song. Talk to you soon.